Hello, my name is Tom Lundberg. I'm an artist who works in textiles. I live in Fort Collins, Colorado. I teach in the art department at Colorado State University in Fort Collins, Colorado. I'm here with my exhibition, Microcosms, here at Harrogate International Center, part of the Knitting and Stitching Show. Uh, my show, Microcosms, has been at all three venues, the uh, Alexandra Palace in London, the Royal Dublin Society in Dublin, and now here in Harrogate. The first piece I'd like to talk about is called Night's Watch. It's from 2006. Night's Watch is just that, it's a swatch. It's as if it was taken from a larger piece of cloth. I believe that even the smallest scrap of fabric can tell a lot about the bigger picture. This piece is an intersection of lines. It's a drawing of thread, and as the lines layer and intersect, they form another kind of cloth, a, a weaving that moves across and under and over the surface of this fabric. Um, it's dense, it's compact, um, it shows the time of the making, um, and it implies a bigger piece. Summer Swatch is from this series of pieces that have raw edges. They appear as if they, in fact, and they have, in fact, been cut from larger pieces of cloth. In pieces like this, the needle skims through the surface. It's a combination of basic sewing techniques. I work in a very low-tech manner. The, um, for embroiderers, they would recognize simple things like long and short stitch, couching, running stitches, stem stitch, anything that uh, has been employed for generations, for millennia. These techniques go back to uh, as long as people have been able to use needles, whether they were steel or bone. I'm attracted to this medium because of its simple directness. Summer Swatch is part of the same series as Night's Watch. A, some of them were taken from larger compositions, and I found that since my primary way of working is in a small scale, uh, they made more sense when they were the size of something you could hold in their hand. These are thread pictures, but they're not uh, thread paintings. They are physical objects. They occupy space. Uh, they, in a way, are sculptural because they have dimension and a tactile presence. Backyard Step is from a series of pieces about time. Embroidery, like many textile processes, documents time in a very visual way. You can see the stitches, you can see how time has been spent. The subject of Backyard Step involves um, shapes that you might see in a clock face, the rings, um, the cross-section of a tree. These are motifs that have influenced the way this piece looks. Backyard step is just that. It's those moments that one sees framed in one's own space, in this case, my own backyard. A lot of the visitors here at the Knitting and Stitching Show have asked me why I make so many pieces with the image of the foot or the sandal or the flip-flop. I find it to be a universal item. It in, uh, evokes the suggestion of thresholds, of choices, of the future. Uh, in this piece, you can see um, how I like to use color I work mostly with silk and cotton threads. I work with um, layering of threads. So I'll start in roughing in the color like a painter. I'm trained as a painter. And uh, in this piece, you might be able to see how the light and dark values uh, continue through the rings. But as you go around, again, it, like a clock, you can see how uh, the yellow might turn to a pink yellow. Uh, another section might turn to a green-yellow. This is one of the pleasures of working with thread because you can uh, modulate the color and uh, 
work with the reflective quality of light as um, the luminous threads play with the change in quality of the day. Yellow Basket is in some ways inspired by the activity of cutting. Embroidery, like the other textile arts, involve that simple activity. Uh, gardening and pruning shears also involve the, the lopping off of linear elements. In Yellow Basket, you can see a floating hand holding pruning shears and uh, around it is a woven fence or basket. Um, in textiles, you often see this tie-in between the life of um, the garden outside the home and the orchestration of threads inside someone's workspace. Um, my great-grandfather, my great-uncle were farmers and tailors. They both were involved with um, manipulating materials and weaving and sewing them together. In Yellow Basket, you'll see uh, some of the motifs that we'll also look at in a pocket-shaped piece called Red Pruning Shears. Red Pruning Shears is from a series of works made in the shape of pockets and shields. Because these are textiles, I'm interested in making shapes that relate to the body, to clothing, to the sense of touch. Red pruning shears focuses on that activity that is shared by textiles and by gardening, the activity of cutting. In Narrow Escape, we're looking at a piece that's inspired by a family story, uh, the story of escape from a city just before the outbreak of a war. The fires, the bridges, the piece of cloth, that scrap caught on barbed wire, all relate to a story of escape. It's um, timely here in Harrogate. Just two days ago in Cumbria, there was a major flood, a thousand year flood. So this piece has been getting a lot of comments. It's been triggering reactions based on current events where waters are rising. And visitors here to the Knitting In Show have been very focused on getting home before bridges are washed out. This piece is called Orion Diving. A few years ago, I was visiting friends in New Zealand. They told me how to get up early in the morning to find the Southern Cross, which I'd never seen. I found the Southern Cross, but what I wasn't expecting was the full moon setting over the Tasman Sea and the constellation Orion, which in the Northern Hemisphere we see one way and to my eyes appeared to be diving into the ocean. Uh, Orion diving is from a series of works shaped like feet. A student once showed me some Chinese slippers that were embroidered on the bottom and it struck me that here was another form that would speak to the body to talk about that textile connection to skin to another kind of human intelligence. When I work with sh uh, works that are shaped like feet it encourages me to think about the elements not just earth but uh, the sky or water. Uh, in this case the shape that's associated with physical contact to the earth is also uh, uh, framing something that we can't touch that's far away. Uh, I think textiles, because they're so tactile and intimate, um, are a, a perfect springboard to talk about things that are outside of our grasp. My name is Tom Lundberg. I live in Fort Collins, Colorado. Right now, I'm here with the 2009 Knitting and Stitching Show. I'd like to thank you for coming to look at this work. If you'd like to see more of it, you can go to my website, tomlundberg.com. Thanks. <laughs>